Well, hello everyone and welcome to Decorating with Barbara. So, today's video is going to be a little different from my normal videos. I'm going to do a little cleaning before I start decorating. Now, I have been a little under the weather and so today's video is going to be like a reset. Now, after being sick for nearly like a week and a half, as well as having my grandson here, cleaning has just not been a priority. <laughs> so my grandson goes home for the weekend on Thursdays. And then that's when I start my reset for my home. Now, I'd like to make sure that my home is intact and clean for the weekend so that I can relax and enjoy my weekend in a clean home. So that's why I'm doing um, a clean with me today. And so I'm going to start here in the kitchen and I will be clearing off my buffet in the breakfast area so that I can prepare to set up for what I'm going to do for the holidays. So this will be like a Thanksgiving pre-Christmas decorating. Now here I'm just clearing off everything that is left over from my grandson and just gathering everything in this one area and then I'll take this upstairs to his room or if he has papers that needs to go home, I will put those where um, he can take them when he leaves. He usually leaves around, well, right after school. And that's in the morning. He goes half a day. And so here I'm just going to clear off all of the um, fall decor and get the table wiped down. And so I was going to put it back, but you'll see towards the end of the video, I had a change of plan. And so, yeah, I um, didn't put, put it back, but stay if you're interested in seeing what I end up doing in this area. Now on the buffet, I'm just giving it a good um, wipe down because I knew that I was changing the decor on the top. So um, I wanted to get that part set up for like Christmas, Thanksgiving situation. And um, that I knew was changing, but the rest of the things I did not know I was going to be changing. So. Yeah, that's why it turned into a decorate with me as well as a clean with me. Now these lamps I had here last season, I think they were here and I'm just bringing them back. And I don't know where I got all of this energy all of a sudden to just get up and clean the kitchen. I thought I was going to rest for the day, but yeah, I guess I got a burst of energy and yeah, had to get it all taken care of.
And so these are a few of the products that I use today during cleaning. So I hope this brings you some cleaning motivation for the weekend and to know that my house is not always tidy. Okay guys, so everything is all cleaned up. And I went ahead and put my two lamps on the table. And this is just in preparation for Christmas because I knew that I wanted the lamps on the table for Christmas. And so this is where the video was supposed to end. And so I ran out and picked up a few items from the store and then ran into a home decor store and the rest was history. Okay guys, so you see what I picked up. Now, I had no intentions of buying anything. I saw the store and I thought about the fact that I needed to get some steps in. And I thought, that's a big warehouse type of a situation. So go in there, walk around, and you can get some steps in at the same time. But little did I know that that particular um, type of store has a clearance section and this is where I found these leaves and these leaves may just be my wow factor I think they are so pretty so I bought three they were eight dollars and fifty percent off I'll show you um, what I did with the other one um, at the end and so that was that. Then next, in the same booth, no, around the corner, there was this. Now this wasn't on sale, but I thought it was an excellent price. And I thought it was cute. And the price was $7. And so the next thing that I picked up was this garland. You see the movement of it? It's so pretty and flexible. It looks like real garland. And so that's mainly why I wanted it. I could add it into some other garland that I have. And so this I thought was really pretty. It was maybe a little much, maybe not. $24 and it is a uh, faux cedar garland. And so yeah, I thought that was perfect for just laying across a table, maybe on a buffet, hanging over a mirror. Because of the soft drapiness of it, I think I can do a lot with it. Okay, so you see how pretty it drapes? Now, if you don't know, I generally like to have garland out for Thanksgiving. So you can kind of say this is going to be Thanksgiving pre-Christmas decorating. Um, yeah, I always like to have garland out for Thanksgiving. I don't know in your area, but here, before the pandemic, they always had, Sam's Club always had their live, their fresh garland out like the week of Thanksgiving. So I always like grabbing some garland for some fresh greens on my Thanksgiving tablescapes. So I'm gonna go ahead and place the other things up here just to let you see what it could look like at Thanksgiving. I'm sure I might tweak it a little bit between now and then, but um, yeah, let me put a few things on the table and then let you see how it looks. the garland that I used last year on my living room mantle. And so this year I'm going to place it in a bowl and I'm gonna place it on the table. Alright guys, so this is what I have so far. 
and it may or may not change between now and Thanksgiving. And I'm sure I'll tweak it a little bit for Christmas, maybe add a few trees. But this is how it's looking now. And I think it's very pretty. It's warm and inviting. And it's, I think, appropriate for Thanksgiving. Now, I could take Santa off for Thanksgiving. And I don't know what I'd put up instead. But I like it. I don't really mind that uh, Santa is there. It's not screaming Santa. So I think it works. Now, let me show you very quickly, just give you a sneak peek of what I did with the brown branches.